it is uh, July the 2nd, 2024. And uh, yesterday I had a visit of uh, two girls uh, from United States. And uh, I could relax and only sit and talk and speak English to them and not think about how to uh, find words in Swedish because uh, I am mixed with English and Swedish now. So it's it's nice to only could concentrate on one language, and it was American English, and uh, they uh, cut my hedge. That was what I asked them for to could do, and they they are from. Uh, my church, uh, L LDS church, uh, the Mormon church. Uh, I am not there because of what they believe in. I am there because then I can uh, research uh, my family tree for free. If I am a member of them. And uh, I told this girl the, the truth. I told them that I knew in a year 2017, 2016, uh, when I come back from Jerusalem, and then I didn't have any money. Uh, to do the, the family DNA research. Uh, but I heard from heaven that I, I need to do it quick. Uh, time runs out. And uh, uh, I didn't know what it was. Uh, but I, I did that. I had uh, not much to eat but I let it be like that I uh, I, I did a strict diet for to could uh, buy this DNA uh, uh, research and uh, and I know that today and I told the, the girls that uh, the the Mormon Church have taken over very much of of this family research, and they want it to stay in five generation. That we should only do research for five generation, and because that's then we are up to to uh, Joseph Smith and uh, that's where they want us to stay to have the knowledge and uh, then uh, it, it's about that they had, they say that I have wrong about uh, the DNA test and uh, that I I don't know about Sweden uh, and uh, Europe like that. Uh, I think that they know more in the United States or Canada than what I know about Swedish people. And I am in, in Sweden. And I'm an old person, so I know what's going on from the beginning until the end of today, that they, it has changed much. 
and so that's why they asked told me to hurry up and do my DNA is that you can't touch the the bottom of your family tree uh, because they have they have signed in all European people to belong to the United States and and be in the grave in the United States or Canada and there is no roots from from the family trees that that I told the girls I didn't care if they it hurt them because they need to know the truth uh, if the truth doesn't it can hurt you in the beginning but it doesn't hurt for a long time uh, and I say that in the United States they believe that it's uh, like United States started uh, like a country its own country but you, you know there was people already in United States when European people come to America and so the those people that come to America it have never been their countries so uh, we can discuss that about uh, Israel and uh, if it's a country of itself and uh, most countries is built up by people and, and people from other cultures and countries uh, so a real clean country is hard to find today and uh, it is uh, uh, it, it is those uh, islands countries that can be those that uh, you know the roots of them uh, like Iceland and Ireland and those countries but the United States is built up that people come to that country that uh, that's area from all over the world and they stay there and built up the country so it's not that everyone is is born in in America and uh, that, that is very hard for young people that they're not in, in that is I don't know because I, I am a little tired but I, I'm going to talk about uh, those girls and um, I was uh, one of the girls was from Arizona and I have heard about Arizona from the air that something was it with Arizona uh, and uh, when she's when they come to my door and present themselves and she say I'm from Arizona it was like she say that also that I was like being shocked over it but it was because I I am waiting for that moment when someone from Arizona will come and visit me and 
there she was yesterday and uh, they did they cut my head and uh, it is hard for them because they are not used with that at home they are very spoiled at home so they don't know how how, how to do it and uh, I have to tell them to to not do things that they is on immediately and want to do something with, and I tell them uh, let it be. That's how I want it to be, and they and they laugh about because they don't know, and. Um, so I sit here and told them about the history of Mormon's church because they don't know they they be taught about uh, the church from a today perspective uh, to what they want them to hear and know uh, what they want them to be today. Not from Joseph Smith's perspective, from the church leader of today. And, uh, so, uh, and they listen. They listen very closely because they... They knew that I knew what I was talking about. So, and of course they don't drink coffee. So, we we eat. I have uh, bought sausages, hot dogs for them to eat uh, with bread. So, uh, we eat that when they come, and then they got so, some uh, sweet bread for after the the heavy food, and uh, because uh, that's uh, some uh, it's uh, common sense to do that. Because they, in in before, for for thirty years ago, they don't have any contact with their family, like they have today. In that time, they didn't have any money, so we needed to provide to them. And um, uh, so I asked that girl from Arizona about this green man that come through uh, and see if she knew as as she come that day when he he stood. Uh, in front of me and uh, I could see him clearly that day they said those two girls say that they should come and visit me so I was thinking it has something with that to do and uh, and still I believe that something is it with her and uh, but she she don't understand it yet so so uh, i i'm sorry i, I fall to sleep sometimes but, but only some seconds so uh, he come through a third time that's why I sit a recording now, 
because he he come in the night and about one hour after we have finished the 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 give away now the spirit uh, make me so sleepy now and the weather is start to be soon rain and that also make me have hard to think and so I I, I was worried to uh, to not remember what I should tell you about but the, it come back and uh, it was a young boy about 20 years of age that come this night and uh, it was only a, a very short time he was here and he he was uh, I, I don't know what it means really but uh, he he was white and sundry color hair but he did a special thing he he hold his hands both hands over each ear and then he did uh, uh, this i don't know what the signs the name of the signs but but you make two fingers and up and down like uh, in in like uh, those signs is saying like like uh, like you know someone you know a little like diffuse uh, talking, you know that someone that you, this with a big nose, and and they do that sign to to uh, to mean that you don't take it too serious about it, and it can be a, a nickname of someone that. Uh, that this other person is saying to you and he do this sign and you do this sign when you don't find the right word for it Uh, and this kind I hope you understand I maybe can find a picture that I can show you Uh, on this episode um, he did that and then he disappeared so he, he had not much green on him but what he did this uh, this uh, sign it was very special that he did it was like he couldn't explain it for me what what it was he should say and uh, that fit in on this other with green clothes on because I say that this man young man is not very smart he's not intelligent and that was he showing he didn't say anything he only showed me with the fingers what this was and uh, and now i'm going to to um I'm going to 
and yeah, um, I can't say what I'm going to do because I, I am between awake and sleeping. So it's be like this that I lost what I should say. And um, but she don't understand it. She say, but I didn't expected it either, because that is what is uh, will happen in the future. That she will remember what I have say, and she is coming to know who is this that I talk with her about. She is going to to hear it from him. This with green uh, clothes that um, maybe she, uh, these uh, girls, they move away so very quick. So maybe she not here when she understand what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, it's a, it is a man here. But I have been used that that they are standing. Like it. And it's a man here. And he wants me to uh, go into in a, into his body, and he wants to be one with me. And uh, it have happened before, and I have told this person, and uh, it's something that. Uh, I God want it to be that uh, I have to ask heaven if he is allowed to come into my body. Uh, he is that kind of boy. He may be, I see him in the water and I see him going out without any shoes and barefoot going and no uh, uh, and what I wanted to tell you it was this that uh, this green man was coming for the third time this night and I say that uh, he maybe is coming and explain it better this night that's the third night. But instead he he be uh, more that I don't didn't understood him when he didn't so, do so much more than with the ears and uh, it can be a, a mistake that I didn't understood that he was deaf maybe he was that and he couldn't speak either he maybe was it and so I should not be, go angry at him he maybe can do it in a better way. <laughs> I heard applause, many applause. So it's time for me to stop here because uh, that's what I wanted you to know. Let the, the young man come. This time he was very young about 20 and b before with this red orange 
weeks, week, he he looked older, but maybe he wasn't. It was the same man, and uh, about the years or so. So I I have not talked to you. Oh, sorry. <sighs> it's time to end. I understand that. And, and tomorrow I got visit from the city hall. And they are going to to see how I live and if the, I should get some help from the city and uh, and my uh, diabetes nurse is coming also um, in the same time it was not my diabetes nurse I have thinking wrong the whole time it's this um, uh, nurse style that uh, do with the body to do exercise with the body uh, when you have been in an accident to make you come back to normal life again he, she is coming and, and maybe she has some ideas to uh, to uh, make equipment, tools, how to exercise at home or in the gym. I don't really know what they are going to do tomorrow. And I was thinking the whole time, diabetes, so I have try to see if I have some sugar in my kitchen that I eat. And I, I don't have I don't have kitchen things. It's a spirit thing when they feed me with the spirit thing and not with the food. And um, but in the same time, is is it maybe good that I I have cleaned up from all the food that have been uh, sugar in it, but it have expired, so it's it's gone anyway. So I only clean it up, and it can happen that these people are going to talk about food and look at what I had what I eat they maybe do that anyway so it's good to have it done so I will uh, recording in maybe Friday this week what they were doing and saying these people that coming tomorrow so thank you for listening and now I, I wanted to it was one thing I'm, more I wanted to do before I left leaving um, so I, I had uh, strange. Uh, there is many cities, different cities here, yeah. and this um, list of city is only on my SoundCloud uh, podcast. 
those I have two others and I don't see it there but I can see it on SoundCloud what countries you are listen from and I just now have it uh, Washington is the one that listen most people from and Columbus Ohio have always been listener, follower, and Fourth Worth, where my husband in Texas, he was born there. And then it's New York, Springfield, and here is a new thing, a new city. I have never heard it. I will check it up what it is. North Aurora. North Aurora. And then we have Singapore, Ashburn, that have been since the first day. Uh, Brussels, here is also a new one. Gerwil, it's um, in Germany. Uh, Boardman, I have had since the beginning. Dublin also, London is also. But then I have London in the United States also. That I didn't know that there is a city there. And But it was what I talked about in the beginning that many countries have, have moved to United States. And uh, then they have make those areas where they live uh, from the beginning, beginning maybe a, a village and they name it from where they're coming from. So this is London in the United States. And then it's Rottenberg in Germany, Geisen, Geisen in Germany, and here's new, new things also. It's small, I think it's small, uh, like independent cities. I have never heard about Jersey City and that state in Iceland, Iceland. Forest City, and then I heard San Francisco, of course, and then is Paris, Madrid, Hackensack. I think that belonged to my family tree, Hackensack, uh, but I have never heard it. But I have some names in my family tree. Mm, Hacken Sack is for, yeah, in the United States, Orlando, and then I look at a picture of your city, Yerevan, is uh, Armenia, and beautiful parks there, beautiful city, Orangeburg, Orangeburg in the United States, Baltimore, United States, Berlin, Germany. And here's a strange name also, uh, Silly Mazarin, it's a, a France. Uh, and the United States, that's name I have seen before, Potomac. Um, put the honkers I thinking about and then it's Milan Italy uh, and here uh, I don't know where it's coming from uh, Bishkek I, I'm going to google on it uh, it's um, uh, it's Kyrgyzstan 
it's um it's those um i think uh, in more like garashia i think it's that kind i'm going to look at it i i have a map here that have only those strange um names it's not english or swedish it's their languages kyrgyzstan as it's uh, going in to be uh, in china close to china so uh, uh, there is coming people listen all over the world and then is it tokyo japan and delhi in india and orangeburg in united states milan in italy seoul in korea and then um, odenton in united states that i don't know either and the other girl that was here yesterday she comes she live in oh i forget that name also it's um i was there when i was in salt lake city oh gordon oh do oh, gordon it's the old city there mormon church they have a old church built there and then they have built a new one also so they have two there and um, so i told her i have been there um but you see it's strange cities where people sit and listen on this and i very glad and thankful that god have shown you my podcast so you can also come to know what is in heaven and how it look like and what to do before equipment place place your clothes on before you are leaving earth you you have to have with you basic knowledge uh, about everything that to have with the spirit world to do but they don't expect you to know everything because there is a library in heaven where you where you can get more knowledge about everything so this is they when you're leaving you you are not leaving with no everything that you you will know in heaven so i told you that this um personal um level where you be educated here on earth first and and that what you have you be educated in after life also what you are have missing here that they will tell you but you need to have the basic equipment on you when you coming into heaven i say clothes but it's not the real clothes it's a spirit clothes that you you place on you and carry with you 
the spirit equipment. So I I want, and of course, uh, after life wants you to to know these basic things. Uh, the whole world, every every person, but I know it can't be in that way. I have to be thankful for every one of you that ha- have this, uh, will be, have this on you from what I'm telling you, because I hear from afterlife. So you, so you have this with you when you are leaving Earth. But so much as you you have the knowledge of from earth, that's where you start in afterlife and be educated more. So we all are coming to the same knowledge, depend on where you are in in afterlife. If you are in the meadow, you don't know anything. Uh, but they they know your struggle. They know you, how hard work you have done to come to know what it is God wants you to do and, and what it is you are coming to. They know how much you have struggled. So... So some, is it okay to come into the city? And even some of you maybe can come into the throne room of God. The the nicest, everything is nice, but the nicest is uh, the throne room where you get all the knowledge. And those, um, when I say a a country or a city that I don't know uh, from you, I I check it up and uh, see how beautiful a city you have. It's not everywhere in city abroad. Uh, that is nice, but you have uh, spots because everyone knows you need to have spots where you can relax, where you have, where your spirit is meeting the nature and you you relax in that. So uh, most every city have one park at least where people can come into maybe some is to pay for it but mostly you can go in for free and don't lay in the grass and, and relax because we need that the devil know that that we don't need uh, to be on internet all the time, knowing what other people are doing in that moment. Uh, we don't need that when we s- seek to find our own spirit. We don't need to be busy in the world. We will. We can be busy in the spirit way to to be. So thank you for for have listened. I I got it later on. Most of the time I get more knowledge from heaven in the last minutes. It's like built up there also uh, to come to the spirit way to talk. 
So thank you, and God bless you.